Hey, Harold, not so fast. New decree by your student body president to swarm. All students have to ride on the outside of the bus. Isn't that a little dangerous? Yo, oh, you're sweet. I'm gonna be fine. I'm starting to think that giving a student body president unchecked power is a bad idea. How did Swarm get elected anyway? Elected? You don't get elected at Harry S. Apocalypse High. You seize power in a violent rebellion. It happens all the time. No, oh, hate when she takes the shortcut. Isn't this where we started? Don't worry, we've got two more lives before the game is over. Where is everybody? Hey, is that normal? He's watching you. One false move and he'll toss you into the sacred dungeon. Who? President Swarm! Oh, my diarrhea on the mouth! That's just crazy again! The best thing to do is keep our heads down. Don't say or do anything stupid. Definitely. We just need to keep our cool. Hey, you. President Swarm outlawed booting cops. Yank. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Swarm has locked everyone up down here. Tacklebot, Venus, Nana. Wait, where's Mamie? You didn't hear? President Swarm has her locked in his tower. They say he's torturing her. <laughs> Are you ready to become my queen? Never. Then I'm just going to have to keep reading my blog to you. This entry is titled, There's No I in Team Edward. No one can withstand someone else's blog. We have to save her. Well, the only way to do that is to overthrow Swarm, and that would be insane. Overthrowing Swarm would make you president and me the evil genius pulling your strings. I mean, your trustworthy vice president. Attention, everyone. <laughs> We're rotting in the school's dungeon. Well, Swarm has built a lavish palace, erected an enormous statue of himself, and kidnapped our homecoming queen? I say we fight our way out of here and overthrow him! What's in it for us? Uh, freedom? That sounds awful good, huh? Yawn! Really? How about not having to sleep in a dungeon? Dude, if you want to lead, you have to make outlandish promises. Free black holes, invisible underwear, pie-in-the-sky stuff. Like, actual pie-in-the-sky. Oh, look, they're not idiots. They won't fall for that. Oh. If you help Thrasher overthrow Swarm and make him president, he promises to make the answer to all math questions. Math is stupid! Yeah. He'll drill to the caramel center of the planet. He'll send more troops to fight for global warming, and he will finally force the lobsters to reveal how they do their magic tricks! Uh-uh, you'll have to catch me first! Stop! Stop this right now! I'm sorry, my friend got carried away with crazy promises. Yo! You had us at math is stupid! Cheers. Lovely. Well played, Johnny Gun. <laughs> Why didn't we do this earlier? Yeah, be honest, I'm usually tired this time of day. <laughs> I like to nap. I love to nap. <laughs> In your face. Well, you know, I always felt lazy taking them. But you know what? Look at me. I'm outside, being active, and all thanks to taking a nap. Uh -huh. I feel so good. I'm going to start taking one every day. We should do it together. Can you imagine? We've broken Swarm's defenses. We've taken power. But we're not done. We have to save Mamie. You with us, Weenus? You guys have your moment. I'm gonna go bust some heads. Go get some! You have to see this video I shot of my kitten trying to stay awake. Hang on. It's loading. It's totally worth the wait. Still loading. Please, make vlogs stop. Wow, the web is slow today. <laughs> Just a sec, my future queen. Baby, we're here to rescue you. <laughs> All right, let's just calm down. Back off, Swarm, or your blog is toast. Oh! Don't worry, Mamie. The nightmare is over. Who's to 
to use his dial-up, you sick evil freak! I have the homecoming queen! We found his stash of pudding cups! If you find the tapioca, it's mine! All hail his awesomeness, the royal and blessed ultimate dude, and my best friend, President Thrasher the First. Please stand by. Come on, what are you waiting for? I look like a tool. You're the president. You're supposed to look like a tool. Ah, no, ah, stop it. Do not look your lord in the eye. He hates eye contact. Do not attempt to smell his sweet bodily aroma as he passes. Do not try to impress your friends by saying you saw him today. We will deny it, and you will look like an idiot. How dare you step in front of his royalness, you strumpet! Dude, chill for a second. His Majesty has demanded that everyone chill. Let the chilling begin. Do not attempt to fake the chilling. <clears throat> Hi, Mamie. Thanks for saving me. Oh, that's okay. Power suits you. R really? Totally. You'll make a great president. But you are missing something. I was born that way, but the doctor said to be patient. <laughs> a first lady, silly. And there's a perfectly good one right next to you. Hey, I'm a dude. Oh, not you. Oh. Me. Oh, ah. really? You and me? <laughs> As in you and me? Power <laughs> totally rules, dude. Your royal lunch is served. <laughs> Having fun on our first date? Date? Oh, silly. You know that I've always wanted to date you. But you've been dating Megawatt since kindergarten? To make you jealous. Duh. Uh, did it? Hold on, sire. The royal food tester will check to see if the food is safe. Seems to check out. <laughs> Weenus, did you try to poison me so you could become president? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> you little scamp. <laughs> you know what our first act should be? Commemorative plates to honor how you became the new student body president. And they're made of fudge! This <laughs> is the prototype. Not made of fudge. Or buy the school new textbooks. Textbooks? In a school? Why don't we just throw the money away? We could give every kid in the school his own personal library. That's, uh, brilliant. By royal decree, all students will be given their own libraries. <laughs> Our spies say Havoc High is planning an attack. We have to prepare. We should build a decoy school over a volcano. Then we fill the volcano with lions and butt monsters. What's a butt monster? Glad you asked. See, it's going to require some money for DNA splicing, but... Last is enough with the butt monsters. I've been hearing about this since the third grade. I agree. Butt monsters are silly. Butt monsters are not silly! You heard my queen. Silly. That's the first time you called me your queen. You are my queen. <laughs> Why are these people so angry? Because you wanted to spend all the money on education. Now we're broke. We need to conquer and pillage another school. There's a private kindergarten two blocks away. I say we hit them and hit them hard. Shock and awe, baby! What do you think, Mamie? That's it! I quit! Why? What's wrong? We're best friends. We were supposed to do this together. But now you've got your queen. So, so long, President Jerkenstein. Blastus! Let him go. He's just jealous. It's the price all great leaders must pay. What happened? The private school kindergartners attack. It's a slaughter! The students from Havoc High are marching through our defenses! Someone gave him the codes! And they brought their allies from Magic Lobster Academy! <laughs> we have to flee! Not so fast. Sorry, Thrasher. Don't take it personally. You did this? It's time this school had a female president. Lucky I came back to get my commemorative plates. 
Well, your game is up now, Miss Thang. Did you just call me Miss Thang? You. I should have known. No! <laughs> Butt monsters! <laughs> but I don't understand. I siphon funds out of the free lunch program to pay for them. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Sorry, I called the butt monsters silly. They're beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe the Butt Monsters betrayed us. Sorry, new decree from President Butt Monster. From now on, you've got to talk like a Butt Monster. Since when? Yesterday. You gotta check my blog, dude. <laughs>